This is a recording for the COPAT project, Coastal Uplands Heritage and Tourism. My name is Daniel Carey. Today is the 13th of June, 2023. And I have with me here, Matty Armstrong and Elizabeth Armstrong. Uh, thank you, Matty, and thank you, Elizabeth. Um, can you both confirm for the recorder that you're happy to take part in this project? Yes, I am. Yes, yeah, yeah. Thanks a million. And can I get each of you to spell your name for the recorder, please? M A T T H E W A R M S T R O N G. E L I Z A B E T H A R M S T R O N G. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. Um, I thought that we might start, given your, um, we'll, 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 we'll talk about. Um, we we'll talk about your 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 life together, I'm sure as well. But I, I thought I thought we might go we might go way way back as two people who are who are kind of born and, and reared in the um, in the area to 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 talk maybe separately first about your um, about your early your early memories and um, and about um, about uh, about childhood in the in the locality. I'm not sure who wants to go first. <coughs> I don't. Yeah, that's okay. <coughs> Anyhow, I was born here in Corridor, 1944. Went to school in Kiltaire. Started school, I would say, at six years of age. Haven't a lot of happy memories from school, schoolhood, from that stage of my life. Uh, went to secondary school for about a year and a half in technical school in Butlody. Came home then, and uh, as it happened, my father was, as they said that time, renovating our dwelling house. So. I gave him a hand at that, a, hand, a helper hindrance, I don't know, but it was with him at that. As with the result, I drifted into building and worked at that for a good number of years. Having a small farm, of course, I was involved in that also. Uh, eventually, of course, there was six of us in family. I was the fourth. Uh, I had three brothers and two sisters. The two sisters both went to Dublin comparatively young and made our life there. The three brothers and myself stayed at home, which I suppose was a little bit unusual in the sense back in the early 60s, none of us immigrated. We stayed around at home and I happened to be the one to stay at the behavior farm and worked for the building, uh, on the building for a, a good few years. and more or less drifted into farm and then thought I was going to become a millionaire. It didn't happen yet anyhow, but uh, anyhow we succeeded in rearing a family and I think th th they're doing all right for themselves. We've three boys. One of us living in Wexford in one near at home here. He's into the landscaping and doing to be a farming as well. The, the second fella is living in Waterford and has a business down there and our youngest fella Brendan is living down near Wexford down in Tagot married and two kids down there so we have eight grandchildren and um, they're, doing, they're doing grand and have given us no trouble in the world which is which is great uh, we're, we're quite proud of them or at least <laughs> we, we say that here but we wouldn't say that to them so that's a bit of lovely, briefly. lovely, yeah. And we'll 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 delve into some of the the detail there in a in a second. That's fine. What about yourself, Elizabeth? Well, I was born in nineteen fifty in a place called Bandacola, just a couple of miles from here in the Bunclody direction. Um, went to school in Ballandagan, which was three miles away. Walked most of the time across the fields and. Finished Ballandagan school, went to FCJ in Bunclody on a bicycle. That was before the buses came on the road. Um, then I just stayed there till I was 16 on the junior cert, or intercert as it was called then. Uh, worked in a local bar and grocery in Ballandagan for a couple of years. Then I got a job in the chemist in Bunclody and I worked there until I got married when I was 25, which was in 75. And worked here at uh, at home didn't didn't do any at that time most people when you, when you got married you finished work you know so as as Matty said with uh, three boys and 
should just more or less the rest is what you yes mm, yes as you have said yeah mm-hmm. so worked hard but not outside <laughs> work at home yeah that was that's more or less the, the gist of it yeah, yeah yeah in terms of the as 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 people who are who are you know born born and reared in the in the um in the in the area what are the what are the big changes you've seen over your over your lifetimes well from a if you like from a farming point of view it has changed drastically where we're naturally enough we're along at the foot of the mountain here but when we were growing up every farmer had a certain amount of hillage no not not a big amount but they all saw their bit of a crop of corn generally oats or barley maybe be a wheat and that has all changed drastically there's nobody doing that anymore <clears throat> Uh, and that time neighbours work together a good little bit whereas now if there's work to be done there's a contract to hire in because in most cases particularly in a fairly mountainous area it doesn't justify having the machinery necessary to to, to, to do the work so it's contractors are hired in, in nearly all cases and in any event tillage is nearly a thing of the past in this area so that would be one of the big changes in this area in yeah. this area that it would be a little bit different here than if you were down down the country a bit uh, and the other thing that i'd say there's an awful lot of small farmers after getting jobs and maybe leasing their land uh, if you like giving up farming altogether which is in a sense a pity because it's another sign of uh, Break down in the community. Would that be fairly true? I suppose, yeah. 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 What, what, yeah. what are the What are the big changes you you kind of reflect on? Oh, you know, I, I I think I don't know. I suppose when we um like when we were working and go, you just didn't go anywhere. You lived um, to work. You lived to work. Yeah. Mm. You just there's no such thing as holidays. Like no. You go for a couple of days, maybe. Maybe. You never had a chance. I remember our lads running into Granny next door and saying, Goodbye, Granny, we're going on our holidays, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> you just didn't go, whereas now. Well, you didn't have the resources you didn't the, go. or the time. Yeah, yeah. No, thanks for the God we had enough to do. No, I never remember my parents ever going anywhere. Again, I was reared on a farm, so. It no. just didn't happen. They, they went, mm. even my mother never went shopping. Uh, if it's been a fair day in Bunclody I don't know how many were in the year about eight or nine fair days mm-hmm. in the year yeah. market days like and to usually my father went but mm-hmm. um, but his recreation would be to go hunting on a son hunting yeah he, had, yeah. he, he never took a drink and he never went to the pub no but I don't remember them ever going any place anywhere to any anything really except mass mm-hmm. <laughs> maybe as I said to the fair day whereas yeah. now people are off Three or four times a year, maybe on holidays. And is, was that a was that a farming thing, or was that everybody? I did. That was no, everybody. No, oh. Nobody went on holidays, really. I don't remember nobody anybody went on ever going on holidays. <coughs> no. There was lots of things going out at night. They're going for a meal. That surely didn't come into the equation. No. You know. You know no. This is, take, that's a, is a massive change. Uh, yeah, well, you see, even to go on holidays that time, it is for a farmer in particular, it was frowned on a bit. God damn it, he had more to do than to go off to Galway for... Yeah, uh, yeah. Yes. Or, th- there was an element of that in it. Okay. Or if he did yeah. go, yeah. God damn it, the field of hay was there left and it should have been yeah. left. Or, or, they didn't go, though. I don't mm. remember anybody ever going. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And what, what, what did you do in terms of socialising when you were growing up? Or what was... was how, how could... What, what... How did you... Like, how did you spend your leisure time or what... I, well, I remember going to um, an uncle's house. They had television when that would have been the mid sixties. I remember going there, and another neighbour had a television. And we used to go on a Sunday night to see to see the Kelsey mm-hmm. brothers on the telly. But again, walk across the fields, you know. Mm-hmm. Th- 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 I don't remember going anywhere else really to visit. You go to visit your relations or that. No, I unless there was a cow cabin or something, you couldn't go. <laughs> I'd say. <laughs> Not maybe not in an awful, but in a good few cases, 
the, 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 the husband or the father would go to the pub and night or two in the, in the week. Possibly, yeah. yeah. Really but the, the mothers or the wives, they stayed at home. They were always, yeah. they were always, always at home. home yeah. yeah. And that's a drastic change now. Which, of course, is for the better, the yes. exercise. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But it was actually frowned on for a woman to go into a public house that time. In, in uh, my talking about country areas in, in particular. Oh no, it was in Tosin wasn't acceptable at all at all. No, I think the only exception to that was now we don't remember as such but to hear people talking about uh, maybe a farmer would have a daughter that he'd want to get her married off to some local farmer. Now there might be hoping a pub then on a fair day to try and that was I suppose, yeah, well again that was before our time. Oh that was before our time, yeah, yes, I just yeah, that an of element of matchmaking. An stars, element of matchmaking, yeah. Now yes, yeah, and of course it was definitely before our time. Yeah. Okay, can I ask about your about your your um your your parents and and kind of life life growing up um for for um for uh, for both of you? Well, from my point of view, as thinking back on it, I um, my father would be fairly broad minded. My mother would be more strict, if you like. You know, it was he he would. He would see things a little bit more broad-minded, as I said, whereas she was the complete opposite. Uh, fairly strict, I'd say, almost very religious, both of them, which was a, very, very common that time anyhow. Yeah, there, was, there was no question in the world of not going to Mass on, on, on a Sunday morning. And not, when we were young, no question of not going to confession once a month or at least every six weeks. Uh, whereas that all has changed but he would have been a little bit more broad minded as I said than my mother uh, I suppose maybe mothers are inclined to be that way anyhow so that would be one of my yeah. r- recollections from yeah. from that, that time yeah. Yeah. I suppose it would be similar similar, similar yeah, mm. yeah. but like I Sure, when we were young, we helped out on the farm. We worked, as I said, we didn't really go anywhere much that I can remember mm. apart from going to his cousins or. Yeah, not, not I, visit that way. No, uh, and I, I don't ever remember Mummy not being there. Like, she was, it was just a typical mm. family. Uh, yeah, I have the, no bad memories, thank uh, God, they're all good. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. With, with us now, with the, our the house, Sonny. The other side of the page there. The, the, you, the, the place where you grew up is li- literally next it's door. Right? Literally yeah, yeah. next door, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The house is derelict now because uh, um, we, went about doing years, yeah. we went about doing up. Uh, I think it was a, a kind of a dry rock got into it. With the result that we said to hell with it, we're not going to spend any money on it. But uh, that house would have been a, a kind of a remnant house, if you know what I mean. You probably heard of them. The, Two or three nights a week to be a few people come in. Maybe you gave me cards. No, that would be the. Yeah, well, of course, that, yeah, that's true. I remember neighbours coming at home, mm. all right, playing cards mm. when we were young. And then my mother, and I was, I'm contradicting myself now, I said, I don't remember them going anywhere. They did go to neighbours' houses to play cards. Mm. Now, maybe it was, I don't know how often it was, but it wasn't very often anyway. But we'd, we'd go along with them, like, on, on the Sunday evening. Yeah, well, I'd but say we... It didn't happen very often, but... I'd say probably we had more callers than... than a good many houses. <laughs> now, my father used to do... I don't know whether you ever tell of soldering or not. Just explain what that, what that is. Um. It's, if you like, it's a form of welding. It's, it's a, a, a fairly common implementing place at that time was what they call a separator. You separate the milk, the cream from the milk, and the separator when it had get hold it had tended to leak and he would solder it. And uh, did a few people call and did a few people call and maybe to get slash hooks sharpened. And it's particularly if a wet day now you'd be certain there'd be somebody who'd want something like that done. And of course, another thing he was was uh, he used to have to sign some old forms for people. He was a PC, and with the result, there'd be a few people calling that way. But I'd say we'd had, if you like, more callers than a good many houses would, for those those reasons. 
and I'd say he was fairly good had a fairly good old grasp of local knowledge as well uh from memory now, I would think he, he, he was quite well up in that regard. So if anybody wanted a farm filled up or something, yes. used to call to your father. Didn't yes, they? yes. If say they were applying for a grant for to get their house done up, they'd bring the farm to him to get him to fill him up. No, not trying to suggest that he was a genius or anything, but sure, a lot of people that time, you might say they were only barely able to write their name. Yeah, as far as filling in farms, I was concerned, completely foreign. It was either come to the like of him or maybe the local school teacher or if you were willing with the local clergyman they did it for you but he was he was good at that now just tell me a little bit more about your about your father he seems like an interesting an interesting man i'd say he was but then of course i probably a little bit you were <laughs> just 21 when he died it was only 21 when he died yeah he, he thinking back now i'd say he was he was way ahead of his time uh, he was a member of Wexford County Council for a few years. No, I'm not. I, I'm not sure how many years. But uh, right away, he came from Bunclody to Wexford County Hall to to attend meetings. Now, as I said, I'm, I'm stressing that he's, I did it how often, but he did it for a few years anyhow. And would have been it's, for his time, I'd say quite quite well up. Uh, and you you were telling me before we started recording that you you. The, the family put together a collection of his um, of his material. Um. Oh yes, it's there now. Actually, written and this bit has it written in there. James Armstrong, which is my father, was a member of Wexford County Council from the tenth of July, nineteen and twenty eight, to the twenty sixth of June, nineteen thirty four. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, Jack, we, we, you, sorry, you showed me the. Um, the, the, the collection of some of his um of his of his right, writings right. that you, you put together in, yes. in book form. In book form. Tell me about that. Yeah, well over the course of his earlier life he would have written a good deal of these poems and, and some, some some short stories. And what year was it we put the book together? Two thousand ten. Two thousand and ten. We decided we'd put this book this in these <laughs> short stories and poems in book form. Uh, a brother of mine now kind of initiated Noel, the youngest of the family. So we got together, the six of us, and over the course of maybe six months, we, we put this together and had it published. A, a hell of a success now. We raised uh, in excess of 10,000. For charity? For charity, yes. Yeah, we, naturally enough, we didn't want to benefit from his writings. It wouldn't, it wouldn't seem appropriate anyhow. So we we gave the money towards charity, and uh, we had a, a lunch in, up here in the hall one night. But we packed the place actually. Now we did a good bit of promoting on it, you know. So, and a brother of mine now, it, it had an awful lot of context. He worked with Wexford County Council, so because of that, I'd say we we got a lot of extra people involved in it, and 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 contributed towards it. Um, Can I ask actually on a completely different topic about the um, about the about the black stars? We're 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 in the we're in the, the heart of the the uplands here, I suppose. What, can I ask you maybe about your your um, your kind of relationship with the with the landscape and the and the mountains, or do, do you have um, do you have a kind of a favorite um, do you have a favorite place in the in the area? Well, I suppose from at this stage now that we have a little bit more time, we'd, we'd go walking in the Banner Crystal area. Probably this time yeah. of the year, anyway, we'd, we'd, at least once a week. Yeah, say. most on this Yeah, and, and maybe the other side up, the, the, the other side of Gadeli, what they call the Conintra Walk, we do that in our time. Uh, now, from a point of view of going back, we never had, we never cut turf on the mountain. Because of the fact that we didn't have turf cutting rights, you had to have turberry rights, as they called it. And where we are living here now, this this was what they call land commission farm. Uh, actually, it was an, a relation of my father's, which was a little bit of a coincidence. Got this farm because she was 
what they called at that time a dispossessed tenant. And she was living in Dublin, but because she was a dispossessed tenant, <coughs> she got an opportunity to get this bit of land, and they actually built that house in there for her. Just 30 acres in it. That was back in, I think, about <coughs> 1900, maybe five, five, or, five or six. Yes, the house was built there at that time for her. And she came here with a couple of daughters, I think. Now, my mother was born and reared down the road there, College Town, not across. And for whatever reason, she came to live with him and remained on and, and got to behave a farm from him and then got married to my father in 38. But when they got the land from the Land Commission, they would have got turbary rates, as I said, but they would have to pay 10 shillings a year for it. And that seemed too much money to pay at that time. With the result, they didn't, they didn't pay it. And with the result, we never had, we never had rates to cut turf. Or to, well, it didn't raise that time, but or to graze sheep on the mountain. So you didn't. Um, so we lost. You, you didn't kind of work the work the land on the on the mountain. It was no. kind of for 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 it was for um. It's it's, it's if, a more sort of a, a, a if you place like, for walking. Exactly and recreation, yeah. if you like. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Now I don't know why, but my father always maintained that this bit of land here was very very highly rated. I remember even when we were going to school, the best field on it had to be set every year to pay the rates, which was £20, £20 and 10 shillings, I think. And it was a bit of a, a nightmare if that field wasn't set to pay the rates. And that was considered very, very high for, for this area. But it was supposed to be based on the land's ability to grow wheat. Now, that's what he, that's what he, he had heard. And at that time, there was no such thing as growing wheat, and no such thing as growing any crop. We have a few big cattle and a few cows, and, and I mean, it's stress a few and a few sheep, and that was the sum total limit. And there was rent to be paid twice a year, and even that was a substantial amount back in the 50s. It was four pound two shillings and ten pence twice a year. I can remember those figures. So it seems so irrelevant now, if you like. But that that time, that was considered a good little bit of money. You know, they used to keep maybe fatting a few pigs, and that money had to be put aside to make sure the money was there to pay the rent. As well as I said, the, the, the setting the field for to pay the rates. Well, the rates is only once a year, but the other was twice a year, the rent. So uh, that rent had to be paid. I think that we paid the rent up to... 1908 yeah. or thereabouts. Up into the 80s, I yeah, say. Yeah, sometime into the 80s. Yeah. yeah, I remember we got a letter to the effect that we had, it had it's been cleared, cleared at, that, at that stage. Well, it was so little, of course, it didn't It didn't matter a damn. It was, I forget what. Yeah, it was very little. Very little, and it, it actually didn't increase at all. It was a fixed rent. But those are the things that, that I do remember about. Yeah. Yeah. yeah what, what about yourself, Elizabeth? The... the, 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 the what what sort of a part has the has the mountain kind of played in your in your own? In yeah, your own well, life? I remember as a child, my father used to cut turf, and I remember going up with him. But again, maybe it only happened a couple of times, you know. I, yeah. I, I but I do remember going to the mountain to cut turf, which was a big thing and a, a picnic and all the rest of it. It was a great, great. We had cousins from Shillelagh and Wicklow I used to come on holidays and and uh, come up the mountain with us but as I said I, I, maybe it happened twice and maybe it happened ten times I I, mm. I don't remember uh, but um, but it kind of it left an impression on you I remember that, it yeah, it was a great day out you know yeah. there was a man up there uh, the man was dead for years Tom Hennessy lived up the mountain and we, we were going in to see him and he gave us a big big mighty uh, slices of white bread or as we call them cuts of bread with sugar <laughs> we still talk about it. It was the trees, you know, not just mm. bread and sugar. But mm. um, no, I, um, but now the mountain as it is now, of course, we're we're up. We go up as you said. We go up here probably once a week, and I go with a friend of mine uh, sometimes in the evening time as well. But it's lovely. But again, it's only in the last, uh, I suppose, seven or eight years that we're doing that. This, yeah, but that's as long as the walk, walk is. It? is uh, uh, I'm not sure when the walk. Well, it's about four, five, six years maybe. Yeah, but 
um, yeah, we enjoyed. We really uh, loved the mountains. It's, it's, it's uh, great. Particularly during the pandemic, during it was a lifesaver. Yeah, <laughs> we yeah. could go that far, you know. And God damn it, it was nearly the highlight of the week during the pandemic. Because yeah. And even mm. so many local people, you'd meet up there, they didn't even know that it was there. Mm, that's know, right. Pe- local people discovered it even. Yeah, yeah. 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 And of course, the month of May, lots of people go up there to hear the cuckoo. We can hear the cuckoo when we go up. Mm-hmm. Well, not always, but you would hear. Mm. It, it's known as a as a site where you'll you hear the cuckoo. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, 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 we, yeah. we were up there Sunday evening, wasn't it? We, Sunday we didn't hear it Sunday hear, no, but, yeah. and, a, and not time, and I stress an odd time, you'd see um, deer in it. Yeah. But they are, of course, deer, deer are very elusive anyhow, I believe. So you wouldn't you wouldn't be inclined to see them. Maybe yeah, night just the odd time you'd see them, yeah. Yeah, 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 but it's it's, it's 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 a it's, it's lifesaver up there. Yeah. What, what you said about the cuckoo actually just reminds me to, to ask, and it's it's I suppose that that's more that's that's more maybe about about kind of nature than folklore. But it, is there is there any kind of piece of of sort of local or family folklore related to anything? It, it might be related to bird, to birds or animals, or it might be related to the to the mountain. Is there is there kind of any piece of folklore that um that kind of come to mind for, for either of you? Not really, no. Uh, well, you see, I'm talking about the, the otters in particular. When we were younger, down in the river here, we, we are just quite away from the river Orden there. Now, strangest of him about two years ago was the first time we ever saw an otter down there. Mm-hmm. Uh, she, was, not, she was actually on the road on Sunday evening just down across the road and up on the ridge and away with her. Uh, in relation to wildlife, the only thing we have out there, and I was going to point them out to you, is woodpeckers. There, we have a good few of them, a few feeders out there, as you can see them there. Uh, and we, well, you'd nearly any, nearly any time you sit down here, you'd see a couple of them. Now, whether it's pure coincidence or not, we have hardly ever seen a third one, but very, very often we'll see two. But other than that now, we have the usual few small birds. So uh, going back to the mountain, we're talking about, you know, um, the Turf Cutters Lodge up on Monier. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's, just, it's not his father that built that up there. Yeah, it's up on the very skyline there, right? It's, it's, the trees are sh- hiding it now. It, uh, that was basically in 19, during the war. Sometime between 1939 and 45, when fuel, turf couldn't be, or coal couldn't be got in particular, they started harvesting turf up there and they put up a, a turf cutter's lodge. And he, he, he was at the building of that. Yeah, we'd walk up to yeah. that sometimes. There's a sort of a pathway all, all the way up. Yeah. Um, that was a very. They employed a lot of people, didn't they? They did. Oh, there was a, an awful lot of people employed cutting turf up there that time because just, just fuel couldn't be got or turf, uh, coal couldn't be got so they, they brought down the, the turf uh, people from all over uh, went up to cut and of course it was that time it was it was a, a bit of employment yeah a bit later on then I don't actually remember that needless to say but later on then there was a uh, maybe six or eight people employed in the forestry division up there, a lot of planting done. And that was a nice way of employment for those people. Uh, oh, they know. But um, other than that, the, the employment in the area would be very scarce, if you like, at that particular time. People are independent now, they can travel by car, needless to say. Well, what what did people what did people work at in, in, in the mainly the farming end of it. Mainly the farming end of it. Most farmers, even in this area now, most farmers would have had a man or maybe two and some of the bigger farmers, even five or six. There was a big far, a big quite a big farmer over the way there. And he always had at least six men and then during the busy time he'd have probably up to twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen people in ride. Jordan Haymaking or a, a fairly big job was what they called tin and turnips that time. And he'd have he'd have been a crowd at that or tin and meat. But as I said, most farmers that have 
would say a farm of 60 acres anyhow he, he had a man implied and anyone with a small bit then maybe got a few days with the bigger farmers or maybe try to subsidise it with doing a little bit of fire work even farmers with two horses went out to do a bit of plowing for somebody with no horse maybe and, and that was a little bit of a help uh, but uh, and you, you, as you were saying, Elizabeth, the the, the I suppose the the, the trend um, when um, when women got married, they um, they, 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 they stayed at home mainly. Yeah, yeah. But of course, that time, like say, in our own case, when we got married, it would have meant to have a second car for to travel. So that didn't mm-hmm. add up money wise. You know, you working, you'd be working for the keep the car on the road nearly you know I think when I finished work I think I was just getting about 16 pounds a week so you know I wouldn't I didn't pay it didn't it didn't make sense you know and yeah but of course and, there was, and then there was too much work to be done anyhow so. you had men working here as I said you had land rented and there's always, yeah, it was always a couple, dinner, couple of men and dinner yeah, and my mother to was, the field and all that sort of thing yeah your mother was uh, getting old at that stage yeah. so was kind of the thing to do was just to stay at home <laughs> yeah but it yeah. Was, was there was too much to be done anyhow yeah, yeah, yeah. to consider going out to work hindsight of course maybe we'd have been better if Elizabeth had been out working and forget about the taking out this con acre like it's <laughs> that's was, true. but yeah, that's what we did at the time yeah. can, can I ask I suppose about the the the, the as, as as people who've who've um who were, you know grew, grew up um grew up in the area and, and spent your spent your lives here, what um what um what does it mean to be to be um to be from this from this area? Yeah, it is. It's it's important now. We're both involved in the community centre up here, and it's both effective. Having a bit more time now, I well, I can devote more time to it anyhow. Spend a Matty's second home. <laughs> <laughs> She's not here, is it? You know, where yeah. to find him is in the hall doing something. Uh, she do. You yeah. take, you take great pride in your, your yeah. rocket. I home. couldn't imagine living in a town. I suppose when you're reared in the country, yeah. you, you, you know, I like the country. I just... Hmm. I just so, living, in, living in town or any town, it was never an option, if you like. Uh, yeah. a, a good area now to live in. We have a hell of a good community centre up here. It's... You wouldn't, I'd say there's not better in the county for a little village at the foot of the mountain. It's, it's yeah, tremendous. Good, yeah. And, and uh, uh, plenty of activity. And there's one of the, wood, the, the woodpeckers, if you want to see him, when he's at the back of the tree now. If you, if, oh, you probably saw him. <laughs> the, um, yeah. what, what about the, you, you, you touched on, you touched on the, um, the, 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 the People and the, the kind of um, the kind of the community, I suppose. What um, what's that? What's that like in the in the in the Kiltilly area? Um, a, a good community spirit. A good community spirit in the area, by and large. You know, like as far as say uh, a, a fair indication of it, if there's any fundraising on that, it's very well supported. You'll have the usual a few creeks, of course, and why is there only the money, so to speak. But by and large, it's, 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 people do contribute well. Like we had a fundraiser, when was that? A couple of months ago. A couple of months ago. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and we had a fairly small effort. We, 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 we made 12,000. 12, and that is not a, an insignificant figure in a small area. And without any, if you like, adverse criticism. So, uh, in that sense, it'd be it'd be good. What what kinds of activities do you do you have in the hall? Well, we have social dance once a month, and we have what we call a music session once a month. Uh, the, the social dancing we generally have about one hundred and ten. We used to have a bit more than that pre pre COVID, but numbers have dropped back a bit. I uh, suppose some people are give up dancing, some unfortunately died and if you like haven't been replaced fully. But we generally have 110, 115 maybe 
uh, music session once every month, as I said. Uh, quite good also. We'd have about what had we fifty, fifty plus about fifty people, and we had uh, I think it was thirteen or fourteen musicians. Uh, and then taking gymnastics. part in that, and then we'd have maybe four, thirty to forty people that would sing a song or recite a poem or tell a few funny jokes or whatever. Uh, a, a kind of a three-hour session, uh, and the people that are attending that now really do enjoy it. Now we'd be a little bit surprised, maybe that we don't get more local support for that. Uh, there'd be people coming from, if you like, all over for that, but. We don't get an awful lot of support. I'm not saying that in a critical sense. That's just people's own. But we, we were a bit surprised. How long have we had going now? A year and a half? About a year and a half. Yeah. 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 We thought more local people would have been interested in it. But it is. It's a nice social get-together. And um, it's going on in, in several areas, areas now. Yeah. And, of course, we try to support people in Seth Ferns and... Um, as uh, Newtown. Newtown up near Craignamana and and sometimes down outside Ross there. But generally it's the same group of people that support them all. And they, they, they travel around. The travel around, exactly. It's the same yes. people. The same people. The same, people yeah, it's the same with the social dancing. We support By other areas right. as well, you know, Drum Fay and Eskimore. Yeah. It's the same people that attend those type of things. Yes, yeah. yes. Mm. They do a kind of a circus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, exactly, yeah, yeah. And of course, by and large, we try and not clash with the others, which is which is important. Yeah. And then the gymnastics, it's going on in the hall five yeah. days a week. And there's a gym. There's a hell of a fine gym. gym up there. It's yeah. really going well. Actually, the and gym up here now in, in Calarius, it's, if you like, it's our lifeline as far as Raising money. Raising money. Mm. That's very well, well, it's very well run. Uh, a man by the name of Damien Jordan is in charge of that. And he's very, very good. Brilliant, actually. And the play school. Play school. school facility there time. five days a week as well. And, and then there's the a park. social, social the, club. Yeah, on a Wednesday. On a Wednesday. For a couple of hours. And there's the play park. Beside it. Beside it. So it's, uh, and that's... It's, it's, yeah, it's a hive of activity. Really. Yeah, there's something going yeah. on all the time in the hall. Yeah. Uh, yes, there's something going on. It's, it's it's very very well supported. There's there's always things going on in it. Like, God, there's, there was a, a man came from to do a bit of service and some of the equipment in the gym from Tip, a man from Tipperary, and he said he, he he couldn't get over the amount of activity he was in Kildare for a little town like Kildare. He mentioned the word town. Yes. <laughs> you, 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 you wouldn't call it because you're a town. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I suppose it's, it, it's very centrally located as well. The, uh, the, uh, yeah, the and of course, one of the advantages we have, even though we're near the Black Stairs Mountain, but it is a, it, it's a fairly main road through it, which is a hell of a help, you know. And another plus for it is there's not a better signed village in the county, I'd say. Anywhere you go, you'd see a sign for your daily. Like somebody said to me one time, you think it was some place. What are the what are the kind of big challenges facing the facing the, the village or the local community, do you think? Well a couple of things that comes to mind is one that we lost our our post office, which we had we were very sorry about. Now, I suppose we can all take some of the blame in the sense that we didn't support it well enough. The other thing we lost our guard of barracks, uh, which was another loss. Those are the two things. Now, even for the likely Kiltaley, I suppose that's not, not possible, but if there was some bit of an industry that had employed even 20 people, even 20 people, I think that'd be a huge help. But that's, that, that'll never happen, needless to say because they're all drifting towards the bigger centres. But it is a pity to have to see people getting into a water car every morning and driving, God damn it, even to Dublin from here. It doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. Now maybe it's, it's probably improving a bit with uh, people Robert working from home. home. Yeah. But, but, the, but there'd be a lot of people who are, um, who are 
commuting long distances. A lot of, a lot of people, yes, exactly, yeah, yeah. And definitely for if you like unskilled people, there, there's, there's nothing in the world for them, unless you say mankind maybe on, on building sites or that. And I, I, I think that's an awful, an awful pity that it couldn't be something like that. But again, it, it's not, it's, it's needless to say that won't happen because it's the, ten, the tendency is for people to drift towards towns. Yeah, a village or country area is only some place to live, not to, to work and live. That's, uh, I think that would be fairly true, which is, which is a pity. Yeah, the know, like, same would apply to every village. Oh, the same applies to every it's village. Not just Kildee. Oh no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. no. But to see P, see little villages losing those things, and sure, even the smaller towns losing their banks and all that sort of thing, it is a hell of a loss. But I suppose that's, if you like, progress. Yeah. yeah. The the um, one of the the kind of elements of this this project is around. Um, is around tourism, and so we, we I suppose we we often introduce the subject in in, in 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 conversations like this by asking people maybe about their 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 kind of personal experiences in terms of of um, of having having visitors. If you if you um, if you um, if you have people from from elsewhere, where do you bring them, or what are the what are the kind of places that you that you recommend for for um, for for visitors to the area that they should they should see or do. Well, I suppose the first one, well, a couple of places that come to mind would be John F. Kennedy Park. That'd be the yeah, probably we've the had first cousins, one. Cousins from America. Yeah. Have cousin coming again in July. Johnstown Castle. Johnstown Castle. Yeah. yeah the other. As you say, or Kennedy Park, or there's the Arboretum up in Lockton Bridge. Um, those are probably the. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Or. Um, Anyone the Dunbrody we bring to New Ross. Yeah, and of course Inishtig is a lovely village in mm. Greg Manor. St. Mullins. St. Mullins. Have you been to St. Mullins? No. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, so St. Yeah, Mullins. That, St. Mullins that's is nice. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, there's plenty of places to bring people, yeah. really, yeah. Ah, yeah, right, even on a course. local level, like there's the, as I've said before, the like the, the walks. Well the Crystal Walk and the Calintra Walk and there's another short one down Maori. And they're they're actually fantastic. Yeah, we have yeah. Uh, we have a good bit of variety indeed. Yeah. 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 Places to bring them. It's interesting to think about, you know, you, you mentioned you mentioned COVID and how that maybe had maybe reshaped people's idea of what's you know, what's, what's within your five yeah, K yeah. or you know yes. is, places, yeah. kind of people discovering yeah. things that were on their doorstep. Yeah, that they we've met people up there. They didn't know death was there, you know, and, and only for COVID. Hmm. It's, yeah, it's, it's, we were surprised that, that local people didn't even know about Bella Crystal. Yeah. Or Calentra. Oh yes, or even mentioned before about the, the music session. There was a woman up there, and she's only living in Bellinagan. She was up there Saturday night. We had it, and it's going on now. What did you say? About a year, year and a half. Yeah. And she never knew until this week. Well, last week now, that there was such a thing going on, and she's she's into music. Yeah, even though we did advertise it. We did advertise it. Yeah. So so. To highlight those things, maybe we don't make effort enough, even the, the walks. Like the well, the Crystal Walk now is fantastic. Yeah. And it's not, it's, like, it's not highlighted enough. Uh, I suppose maybe one of the reasons being that it's, we're not, it's not, it wouldn't be considered a it tourist was, area as such. Yeah, I'd, but having said, we forgot to mention back in what would have been in the 80s and mid 80s to mid 90s I suppose we used to do a bit of a bed and breakfast here and we used to take it's just for the summer months of course we'd pile the lads into one room and we'd have a couple of rooms it's just made a few a few extra bob but we used to take students from France Spain and Germany when our lads were teenagers so that was it was it was it was interesting, I suppose. It was interesting, it was, yes. Yeah, yeah, for them. And for the, the idea was that they come and they spend three weeks here, or four, three or four weeks here, and they to learn the language. To learn the language. So that was, yeah. we got good, uh, yeah, it was, it was, uh, that was, that was interesting. Interesting, yeah. And it was for our yeah. own lads too, it helped yeah. them, you know. 
Uh, yeah. And we still we're still in contact with them and have been to visit them in and France and in as America. Y- again, as youngsters, you know, you'll 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 kind of re- relate to some of them. I remember one German chap and he came here. He was an only child actually. My parents were quite quite well off seemingly, but um, was he here six he, six weeks? Yeah, and we felt now. That he, he, he had no sense of humour at all, at least that's what I, my impression of him. And um, we felt the poor fella couldn't wait to get, f- to get away from us. But um, the following year, he the came following back year, he, he, the, the, the organiser rang to see would we take him back, which we did. We were dumbfounded that he, to think that he wanted to come back here, but he actually came in on his own. Steam. Came on holidays a few times then. Yeah. He ended up a pilot in, in Durango in Colorado yeah. and has we've been in, out there to visit him. Yeah, oh yes, he yeah. came in contact. Yeah, so you know. Yeah, but he, like we could see that chap now and he's, he's, he's actually, his attitude or his demeanour changing. Yeah. In the sense that if, uh, he, you know, you try and make him feel at home a bit, needless to say, you don't. It's, it's very, very, very nerve wracking for a youngster. What age would he, he be? Was maybe 14, 15? 14 when okay. he came yeah. first, yeah. And uh, I'd be maybe telling him some more, be of a joke. And he, would, he wouldn't see it at all, but eventually he would. After a couple of years now, he... <laughs> yeah, he got to... We got... <laughs> he got onto the, onto the same on. wavelength. <laughs> exactly, yes, yes. Like how our own lads would be saying, you know, about to be young lads would be slagging you. Oh, God, another one of Daddy's stupid jokes. <laughs> What, what did the what did those what did those teenagers kind of make of the make of the area or what what kind of conversations have you? I'd say had very. I'd say generally most positive. Most of them good. <coughs> most of them so good. Some of them. An odd one. Now. An odd one. Now we did have to change them. You know, the, the, we knew they weren't happy, but they, yeah, but by they wanted yeah. to come. I think to have a good time rather than yeah. learn the language, and they wanted to mix with another family that would have a student. You know. To, to want to mm. meet up with them, which wasn't the thing, you know, the parents paid their money to have Yes, them and it's, it's very disappointing if they don't. But like it's yeah, but in, in, general, now, in, in general, general yeah, they were like happy, me, they were happy, and it's like they kept in contact, the parents, the parents visited us. And, visited us, yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember one, was it two, two sets of parents came here, and they were going back, they were going back, going back from Ross Lair, and, uh, one of the things they said they were disappointed with Ireland that uh, it wasn't that? typical Irish weather at all, they saw no rain. Yeah, yeah, so. <laughs> so, yeah. do you remember the that? The weather was fine, yeah. The yeah, the weather was really fine. It wasn't a typical Irish holiday without the rain. But, yeah. You know, I know, overall it was a good. It was, uh, yeah. A good, and we were happy yeah. we did it, you know, yeah. Yeah. especially for, for our own lads. They gone. Generally, even that, that Tommy now, he was, was at Nuremberg? Yeah, in, Europe, in Germany, yeah. Sure, a big city. Yeah, to be landed here in a little middle yeah. of nowhere, if you like, yeah. you know. But, oh, but do, do you Tom, Tommy would be up in the morning now. He's out with, out with me, checking the stock. Or that time we were actually making cows, cows by hand. You know, just like, uh, he'd take part in that. And, and he'd take part in that. As a matter of fact, one of his, the things they'd have to do was bring out, he had to milk he bring it out and he'd have to milk a cow and drink the hot milk straight from the cow. And he had to, the mug was hanging up in the house for years later. Honestly, <laughs> got a bit of a sprung or something. <laughs> but, you know, and uh, even I remember, I don't know whether I should tell you this or not, but uh, if you have sheep, they're inclined to, the flies that you have and, and they'll, they'll make it. I don't know whether you know what I'm talking about or not. But I remember You'll have to take him out and you'll have to put out uh, a fluid. deeper chase fluid on him to get rid of him. I've not to actually kill the sheep, but I remember saying to Tommy one time, I think, Tommy, you should go home now because this is not nice, what I have to do. You do what you have to do, and he say, no, I, I, I insist, I watch. And sometime after, Tommy cut his sheep because there was maggots. And he operated. So a, a young fella, 14 years of age, so people by and large are the same the world over yeah they don't mind getting their hands dirty so to speak most of them now some of them will of course if you ask them to stop any calf the first thing they have to do afterwards is go to the shower <laughs> that's put 
Millionaires of people are are, are are the same. Yeah. 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 Um, can I ask? Um, can I ask maybe a little bit about about kind of local history? Were, were there sort of um, were there were or are there kind of key events in the in the past that were 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 celebrated or were kind of talked talked about locally? Does, does anything kind of come to mind in that respect? Uh. Let's see now, is anything? Sure, 1798 was. 1798. 1798 yeah. celebrations there. Did, uh, yeah, that was a big event in the Yeah, and they had a monument in Katili to Father Mulcairn's monument. Yeah. Uh, but again, we weren't really involved in it. Or yeah, well, there was, it was celebrations in Katili that year. Celebrations in that year, yeah. Nearly everyone got no, it. This, this is for the, uh, this the bicentenary. For the, uh, yes, yeah, 1998. Yeah, 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 yes, yeah, exactly, yeah. 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 Mm. That was a big event. They weren't involved in it really. Not that much, no. But mm. Brother Main was involved a bit no, more in it. Yeah. But again, not, there's nothing I think that stands out. A few tragedies, of course, and always stand out a bit. Uh, no, I can't honestly think of anything. Yeah. Not at all. Yeah. Don't yeah. Don't it um it's it strikes me what you were saying about the about the 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 kind of teenage visitors I suppose that they get it, it's it's um it's a very different kind of experience to people who who you know stay in hotel or come oh, as, a, as a family yeah, 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 yeah. It's kind of you're you're, yeah, yeah. you're you're kind of throwing it throwing yeah. into this situation that might be very different from your own. Your own kind of upbringing. Of course it experience. is. Of yeah. course it is. Yeah, it's yeah. different for them. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, because yeah. they lived as the family lived. They ate dinner at the mm. table with us, and mm. whatever was going, they they, mm. they had it. You know, it was, and of course they had to speak English because we didn't have any French, so they had, didn't have a choice or, no. or Spanish, obviously. Or yeah, well, most of them. I don't know. The, 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 most of them, they had enough English to they get had by. Enough English yeah. to get by. Yeah. 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 But of course, if they have any at all, they didn't. It's they'd get they'd pick up more of it, needless mm, to say. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they'd have been involved in kind of in, in farm work or sort of whatever, whatever was going yes. on. Yes, whatever was going on. Whatever, whatever was, was going on. Yeah, 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 that was the idea, but of course, that they got involved in it. Mm. Yeah. And then should mm. they had a bit of hurling or football with our own lads, you know? Mm. Yes. You may have our basketball or whatever was going on. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, I know it, 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 it wasn't by and large it was it was it was a, a positive experience. Yeah, and they yeah. enjoyed it. Like it's, uh, over the years, a good few of them have, have come back. Yeah, even still, there's a there's a Edward, a Spanish fellow, he, he really called there a couple of years ago, and there's a few of them that we're in touch with all the time. Sure, Cedric, the French fellow, and his family were here only last summer, and they spent a couple of weeks travelling around, and they, they visited us here while they were here. So yeah, we're in touch with them all the time. No, it, as far as as far as local history is concerned, I can't. Yeah, no, that's yeah. that's absolutely yeah. fine. Yeah, yeah. it's um, yeah. um, yeah. it. The, I suppose that 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 um, those those kinds of it's nice that those connections have been have been maintained with yeah. people that um, yeah, yeah. that kind of um, yeah. that came because I suppose it 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 maybe helps to um, it helps to kind of give people a. Give people a sense of of yeah authentic life, I suppose. It's, you know, but that's, people yes, they yes, exactly. connect with, and yeah, they're they're yeah, they're yeah, still yeah. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, quite yeah. a few families now, uh, local families did that that time, but it's it's not going on anymore. I think I don't think. I don't hear tell of it at all now. No. Now maybe it is. We don't know about it because again, when the, it's people yeah. with with teenage kids that would be yeah. doing it. I was going to ask a, a little bit maybe about kind of uh, place and place identity and I suppose what I mean by that is that I suppose the way you d- you describe um, the way you describe where where you're from and maybe how that changes depending on on kind of who you're who you're talking to or where where you're talking to so I suppose you know the, if, if you um, if you you've Met someone in um, in 
um, in Wexford Town or in Dublin. Someone asks, "Where where are you from? What do you what do you say to that? What do you say to that question?" Well, again, from that point of view, now uh, I I I nearly consider it Kildare unique. It's for the size of the village and where the, the location, it's very well known. Now, we just to illustrate, we were in Killarney there a couple of months ago. A few yeah. months ago, uh, we stayed in the Glen Eagle and we were just waiting to go in one evening. And we happened on this couple that got talking over and said, Where are you from? And this we said, We were from Wexford. And what part of Wexford? And I, I said, oh, you probably never heard of it, Kilhealy. Oh God, what part of Kilhealy? You think it was Dublin to But as it happened, they knew it. And, uh, uh, they said, they asked you, do you happen to know Noel Armstrong? Yes, so. I said, I never heard of him. <laughs> the, 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 this, is your, this is your brother? Yeah, my brother, yeah, yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but as it happened, Noel worked with this woman's husband years and years ago. He served his time. Yeah, in but most in the of the time, you mentioned Kildare, most people... And not for a lot of people, yeah, for, this, for the size of the village, yeah. it's very well known. Matty has a niece in living in Galway, and she met somebody at a school, and he said to her, you're not from here. She said, no, I'm from Wexford, and he said, what part? And she said, a little place, no, this fellow was from Mayo, and uh, he said, she said, um, a little place called Kildare, you probably never heard of it, he said, my mother is from Kentucky, yeah. so he was male, so like mm. it's, it is quite well known. But he, yeah, well one of the reasons, to my mind, is uh, there's, there's an awful lot of signposts. If you travel around County Wexford now, you'd see more signs for, for Kentucky than any village I'd say in the county. And one of the reasons being our local county council at the time, Jim Ball, being a member of Wexford County Council, uh, he got a lot of signs brought for Kentucky. Yeah. Now the story was told that, that when they were doing the railway, I don't know what year that would have been, but when they were trying to decide on where they'd put the railway lines, Kentucky was one of the options. And for whatever reason, it didn't go through, but it seemingly was two, 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 two people sent to get Ely to count the number of coaches, as they call them that time, that was going through the village. But it, it, it never materialised, of course, but it was generally accepted that it should have gone because it's, 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 it's if you like, it's the gateway with Carlo and Kilkenny, out what they call, out through the Scholar Gap. You may have heard of yeah. the Scholar Gap. So, how, how, would that have, how would that have changed things, do you think? If that, well, that would have been ahead of an advantage, I'd say. If it had gone, now of course all those lines are gone now anyhow, but, but I'd say it would have had a, a very positive impact on the village if it had gone through. Uh, again, I suppose it doesn't matter at this stage. And actually back in the 60s, I'd say, when that Jim went down about, he was trying to push for the main road from Wexford to, Car- to Kilkenny be brought to Kildare. But that that never happened either, I suppose. They, they kept to the bigger centres. Yeah, but any, any of those things, of course, we'd have, if you like, if you can get, you can get a proper road structure, it is a hell of an advantage. In, how, how did people how did people get around when when you were younger? How, what 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 were the what were the kind of well, the, options for people? Well, the main thing um, from Kildare, I suppose, but I'm the same. There was a bus service from Wexford to Kilkenny twice a week, Tuesdays and Fridays. Now the bus passed up through Kilkenny, actually it passed up by our gate here at 20 to 9, Tuesday mornings and Friday mornings. Now if, if it was a spill and wet morning, we could get the bus to the school gate, and we, which we did in our time. I don't know that we ever got it home, but it was coming back at half past no, it was actually passing back down at 20 to 12. Again. Uh, no, it, was, it wasn't an option in the evening. But it went down at 20 to 12. It went back up. No, let me think now. It, it went up at, at 20 to 9 in the morning. 
went back down at 20 to 12, went back up at half past three in the evening and back down to Wexford at 20 to nine at night. So that was a service that was used quite a lot, say in the 50s and 60s. People go to, go to, go to town to do their shopping. As a matter of fact, some people that maybe go into town on their bicycle and if it was spinning rain then the bicycle was popping on, on top of the on, on the roof of the bus and they got to go out now. I think a lot of conductors didn't like having to carry this bicycle up these steps. But the, 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 that was done. Which that was about the only a few people. But I remember first now I'd say say Sunday morning at Mass. There was less than half a dozen cars in the village. Four or five cars would be about about eight. Of course the time evolved and it was I don't know, did the same bus go through Ballandagan? I, I don't know. I don't and think it did. I did have a car at home, because I, I remember there's a photograph when I was only two sitting on the, 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 what, was it the running the, board. How was it? The running board. On the car. Yeah. So there was a car at home, anyway. Hmm. What, was that was that unusual at that, uh, at that probably time? Probably was. It was a bit unusual. Because like our neighbours used to borrow the car if it was an emergency or to go to a doctor or something. Did, mm. Or my father would bring them, you know. And another neighbour on the road, the other Norlands, they had a car. But cars were far and few between. They were very scarce that time. But yeah. you were probably talking about the 60s. No, when I was born in the 50s, so in 52, as I said, there's a photograph of oh, the, yeah, the car. Uh, saw yes, far he, I don't know when he got the car, but he had one in 52. Yeah. yeah. And the first car arrived here now in 64. So uh, they were beginning to get fairly plentiful that time. Uh, but up to that, if you wanted to go to town, except as I said on the bus, you had to go on the bicycle. I yeah. suppose the the, the 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 kind of the, the the world that people took in was much was much smaller. Much smaller. The distance yes. that people actually travelled on. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Like I said, it was just a fair day that went. Uh, yeah. uh, don't, like, we went to Dublin, and I suppose I was about ten. And it was the first time to go to Dublin, and this was a a big thing, you know. Mm. That my father had cousins in Dublin, and we went to visit. Oh yes, and even in, in the mid sixties though when Wexford Hornet team were going well. It was a kind of a big event if you heard tell of somebody driving to Dublin to the back to the Crow Park fifty five, fifty six along then. It wasn't everyone that did it. Whereas now it the won't even doesn't merit a second comment anyone driving to Dublin, particularly the younger crowd. Yeah. You you mentioned earlier, Matthew, about the whole the the, the number of people who are who are um, kind of commuting long distances to for you know maybe living living in the area but working kind of far far away. Presumably, presumably years ago, pe- people just had to leave. For, for, oh, people for had to leave. They, they yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yes, when my one of my sisters now, she wasn't quite fourteen when she started working in the local post office, and she was there for two years about two years and then she got a job in the post office in, in Blessington and I think she was there for five years and then moved to Dublin and that was fairly common like and, uh, the other sister a year, year nearly a year and a half younger than I am she went to um, the technical school in Mulroney for about a year and a half as well I don't think she, she finished on a bike as well sure. on a bicycle as well yeah. now she went to do a nurse and then in Dublin and Again, she would have been young. Going she on. would have been very young, yeah. very young, which wasn't all that uncommon at the time. Mm-hmm. They just had to go, and the, the, my age group, even in the, as I said, in the mid to late fifties, up to the mid sixties, they still they came to 15, 16, 17, They got the boat to England, and and now for them spent their life there. Um, a good few of them did well, and of course, a few of them d- didn't do well. But it, it's, uh, I'm still amazed. I know a family now that the mother died and they left a, a big family. And they, I'd say, left school with probably barely able to write their name. And all, nearly all had to, um, they did all immigrate. Yeah, um, one followed the other, I One suppose. followed the other. Yeah. Now that would have been very, very tough if they're going now <coughs> with a teacher have a good education going. Mm-hmm. Whereas then God damn it, you'd have a choice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
what, what are your own what are your own work memories, Elizabeth, from um, from your from your early years? Um, um, yeah, sure. As I said, I worked in Jordan's in Ballandag. It was just a bar and grocery. I worked for a couple of years there. It was three, nearly four years there before I got the job in Bunfody, um, in the chemist. So I was there for six years. So you know, I enjoyed it. it. Was good. Good. We lived at home, of course, and. It worked. Um, my father used to bring me down. Probably went on a bike a few times, but my father would bring me. I never, I never had a car, so it would depend on someone else who was working in Butlody. We all received. My sister worked in the co-op in Butlody at the same time, so we were able to get a lift with a neighbour or someone else. But neither of us had a car anyway. Um, now, even the time now, the, the working in the chemist was considered a fairly decent job. Oh yeah, it was. It was yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Or even Jordan's now it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that, that kind of bar and grocery, that yeah. I suppose it's, it's the, the, those things under the same roof. Under the same roof. Oh, yeah, the same the same much, roof. much more yeah. common then than now, I suppose. What, 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 what kind of a space was that, or what, what did it look like? It was just a small grocery shop. It's there to this day. It's still going, and, and the bar, they've extended the bar since, of course, but... Um, no, the old, the worst about the feature of it was the long hours. You seemed to be, you know, working when everyone else was off. Um, but no, I enjoyed it. It was, um, it was local and knew everybody and uh, you knew the characters and the, the characters, yeah, different characters. Mm. You didn't know them and uh, go to the Camogie mm. field then maybe after work. Uh, it was just up the road, so I played Camogie for a few years. Yeah, um, it used to be done. Was it a dial man used to come in? And he'd oh, have yeah, to go he'd, to he'd, he'd come in every evening and uh, for his drop of gin at six o'clock and he'd uh, had to, it was a half crown and I think it went up to two and ninepence but you still only got the half crown he clicked the half crown on the counter <laughs> drop of water there Molly <laughs> everyone was Molly so you know, yeah. the gin was a drop of water but, she, but the you same knew routine it was the same routine every evening you know but no mm. as I said it was a family run business uh, Jordan's and. Um, no, it was an enjoyable time, like I did, uh, did enjoy it. What about the chemist then? Yeah, the chemist was good, yeah, I liked that, that work, it was lovely, and of course, again, the hours were... were more regular. More regular, yeah. nine to six, I'm sure it was, half day on a Thursday, but no, that was just, it was, it was lovely, that was I enjoyed that. Yeah, that better. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, but on this step now, on this shop work that time, or maybe that was some girls got jobs, secretary. Like the co-op was, put in the co-op in Bidlody, was a fairly good employer. It was great, yeah, was, was my time. sister worked there in the office in the co-op, and there was, I think, about five or six girls in the uh, in the office that time. But, uh, no, we had a good time, we just enjoyed it, and... Um, oh, it, was, hmm. it was good, yeah, just, yeah. yeah. Yeah, again, getting back to the to the well, many in particular. I I I still feel, I think it was awful that the way they had to, to, to go off to England without any education. Christ, it was it was seen to be cruel. You know this. They were so ill prepared for it. Uh, it seemed. It seemed. Yeah, that all got better. Like, mm. I don't know. Maybe the resources it's only were it's different. A- couple of my age group now that I went to school with only very few of them went to England you know, the, the were things, things, were things, things beginning to improve things, that things were yeah. definitely yeah. definitely mm. things were beginning to improve yeah. yeah as I said we were just four lads here two, three brothers and myself it was fairly unusual that none of us went to England yeah like it, that was I don't know why we didn't know but it just happened that way that we didn't but uh, to this day, I, I, God, I, I know one family and they're quite, quite brainy, but they lived they up near the moon. They didn't have the they chance. Didn't, they didn't get an opportunity to get second, secondary yeah. education. And it could have been what they like if they had. I, 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 a few families like that. I think it was awful. But it was, again, of course, with the teachers or with the parents, there was no emphasis on education anyhow. You know, they didn't attach a lot of importance to it all. You came to 14, you had a job. And th- those people who went to England, would they have, would they have come back often or would you, would you, would you have run into people 
like most of them did most or? of them did come back most of them did come back but uh, a few didn't and so a few if you like fell by the wayside and possibly never came back a uh, good few now did did all okay care for themselves uh, a few people and maybe got in on the building and got a chance of serving their time to carpentry or plaster or whatever and did did well for themselves but there was, there was, there was the others as well that maybe we can see again from from what we heard about it they went in and got some sort of digs as they call it at that time they finished up work maybe six o'clock in the evening came home and got their dinner and there was nowhere to go you might say need to pub and some of them got hooked on a day of course and they were they were into to, to money that they had never seen before they went do you know they were probably going going from here maybe working with the local farmer for oh i don't know f- five or a week I'm, I'm not i'm just using that now and all of a sudden they were getting 30 pound a week which was they became millionaires literally overnight and, and of course the sky was the limit in with some of them uh, and, and there was probably no one to keep them on the straight and narrow either now those are the people that I'd, I'd feel kind of sorry for because I said some of them, some of them did, did quite well for themselves because there was one man up there and again he reared near the mountain he got involved in contract work in England God, I think he, 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 I think he was near enough a millionaire when he, he died comparatively young well, he got very very well off so you have the, the odd one like that but you see you have that in every walk of life sure yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and as you say you, you, you were probably unusual with a, a family of that size that nobody nobody ended up well, very, I'd, say, I'd say very unusual actually mm-hmm. yeah very unusual and of course the chances are if one of us had gone we all would have gone you know it was it was a, it was easy enough yeah, yeah, as you were saying, Elizabeth, there was this kind of trend in some yes. places of one one ago and then yeah, gradually. Was, yeah, yeah, I have cousins yeah. up near Kildavan yeah. in Carlo, and yeah. um, it was a big family at the minute, and there's 13 in it, and most of them went to England. I'd say, I'd say 10 of them went, and yeah. one followed the other. Um, if some of them, most of them came back yeah. eventually. But not all yeah, but didn't I? I'd have to say. It maybe being a bit critical but like I think the powers that be were, 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 were responsible for some of it like I remember hearing stories about schools where the teacher had be called up you come up here in the front you come up you get out to the bank you were only going to end up in a farmer's field anyhow you know you had a, a certain a certain amount of that going on and of course what that fellow that was put to the bank in the class what could he ever think no matter what I do, yeah, he, was, he was he was doomed if you like, mm. and you, you had a certain amount of that 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 we I'd say with with the teachers and, and even with the clergy to some extent, they, they, they have to take their portion of blame. You know, it was, it was a bit of a stigma attached to being at the lower end of the scale if you like, but that that that'd be my opinion. Would you? Mm. Do you think that? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. At least nowadays, most you might say all children are getting the same chance. Yeah, they won't all avail of it to the same extent, maybe, but they're at least are getting the same chance. And even the, the the free transport now to the secondary schools is a hell of a boost for it. That they can yeah give everybody an opportunity to get there yes mm-hmm. yes yeah it, I suppose it, it it touches maybe on some of those kind of major social changes maybe that you've uh, yes that you've seen is there is there anything else in that respect that that has kind of left a left um kind of had a had an influence on 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 life around here yeah um yeah that would be one of my bugbears a bit now that to think that the, the, I to put it bluntly, if <laughs> big farmer's son was so well looked after in comparison to the to the labourer's son, if you like, 
Yeah, I, I think I think it was bloody scandalous the way they were they were treated. Uh, that that was, but to my mind, that was fairly widespread, which would which would be scandalous. Nowadays, say parents wouldn't accept that. Yeah, they all they all have an opportunity now. They nearly all. They didn't get the opportunity. They didn't get the opportunity that time. No, no. Now, as I said before, the labourer's son was told to sit in the back of the class uh, because he was only going to work in the field anyhow. Mm. Depended on your valuation. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And it was a hell of a lot of that time with both, I'd say, both the teachers and the, the clergy. You see, they all came from the same stock as well, which wasn't going to help. And I suppose, yeah, it, it, it touches on that idea, I suppose, that there, there are, are um, I suppose there are, there are, there are areas in which, um, in, you know, we, we used the word progress earlier on, there, there are, there are areas where, where, I suppose, life is demonstrably better for many people than it yes. was, oh, yes. and then there are other, there are other aspects, obviously, where, where, where things have been things have been lost, I suppose inevitably that you're you're um, um, that there there are there are elements maybe that you you of, of life that you prefer they were they, that they, were, they were the way they they had been rather than the way they, they are now. There's always that kind of mix of well, there's always that kind of mix, yeah. But by and large, things have improved oh, drastically. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I know you have certain maybe. What are the what are the kind of what are the, the sort of biggest improvements in in um in that you're that you're thinking about there? Well, the, the living standards, living standards. For instance, yeah. For instance, when we were young, you might say there was no such thing as bathrooms in houses. Now, my father put in a bathroom in the house because he worked at the village and he was there to do it himself. But it was it was the exception that time. That was in the early sixties. It was out, outdoor toilets and, uh, and was, or, 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 or nothing exactly. No, no. no. Where you could go. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Now, I noticed he, in 1971 when they did the bathroom at all. Seventy one. Yeah. 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 But it was it was even a, it was talked about actually he doing it. Because it was unusual. It was unusual. So unusual. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. But again, if he did it, I'd say he bought second-hand bathroom fittings because probably he couldn't afford a new ones. But there's no problem about it, he couldn't. And he, he, he put in the second-hand bathroom fittings and whatever it entailed. Yeah, which we didn't have electricity. We didn't have electricity until mid-50s. Yeah, I hmm. can't remember a year hmm. came at home, but probably it would have been 58 or 9, I'd say. 60, maybe. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the, presumably that that was something that, that, oh, that your, your huge, parents would have talked about in terms of a, a major huge, moment yeah because we had to draw water from the well which was two fields away to go to the well you know like, mm, um, same as that yeah it's what everybody had to do it was the mm. accepted thing like um, uh, then they, they dug a well bore the well and of course that was a big thing then of course not to have to draw the yeah, water yeah to, to have this yeah, it was just an open well in the field where the cattle were drinking out, which just the same as where they were getting the water, you know, and rushes around it. Yeah, well, it, that was the biggest, the biggest boost we got. We used to have to, the same thing, we had to bring the water from the bottom of that field there, the, what we used to call the spring water, for the tea, if you like. Now, the slop water then was, was, was up the road there. We used to bring it in a, in a barrel, and that uh, would... Uh, it was washing clothes or whatever. Water barrels, yeah. my, father, my father made a hope, pulled with the nest <laughs> to bring this barrel of water. And this time of the year, God damn it, it seemed as if you were going twice a day for this barrel of water. And even simple things, we said naturally enough, the, 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 there was no such thing as a dinner without padillas that time. And a book of the padillas boiled. And they used to, well, maybe not the full bucket, but they, they, you put the water on the, in the bucket and you had to put a call a pot stick. To, you, you never saw that, though, no? No. No. 
you, you sort of fill up the, the, the plays in their chest and needles. Plastic say. was like a handle of a sprung. like a handle of a sprung. And you prodded them to knock the dirt off them. Oh, they did a perfect job on them. But then, when particularly this time of the year, when water was scarce, you made, had to make sure and catch the water then to boil the water for the, to, sorry, to boil the pedes for the pigs. Nearly everyone fed in pigs that time, but you darned to throw out the water because if you did, you had to go up to the well again. So you, you recycled it. <laughs> that word, word wasn't used that time, but that's, that's the way it was done. The, the amount of the amount of kind of manual labour, especially for women, was yeah, is, is, yeah. Yeah. Is, is, yeah. compared to the sort of conveniences of yes. modern life. Oh, is, yeah. Huge yeah. Change, really. yeah. And another yeah. thing I remember, my mother she had a sewing machine, and they used to buy they used to buy the flour in ten stone bags, and she'd rip the bags and make sheets out of them. Sheets for the bed and I suppose pillow cases and whatever. But that was, that was fairly yeah, common. I remember my mother going that yeah, way, yeah, yeah. It's what people. But it's what people, people did, did that yeah. time. Yeah. And in terms of in terms of kind of um, cooking and preparing yeah, food and yeah, all that. I remember was... the open fire, and the crane, and the pot hanging on the crane, mm. and the bake pan, and mm. my mother baking the bread, and they put what they call the grishuk. The, the hot embers like up on the lid there. Hmm. Uh, I remember it, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was. Again, as I said, it was what yeah. everybody did. It was very few people like, had anything handy. I don't remember. In kitchen anybody. floors and they'd bring in sticks and they'd have them on the middle of the floor and still the fire had to be <laughs> replenished yeah. in it. They had them there. And even they did have a, a, a block of a stick to, to chop up these s- sticks. And they had a hundred kitchen floor. Yeah, I remember in neighbour's house in Cowan's. Oh, uh, yeah. I was never in his yeah, home. Yeah. yeah. But God, it was very labour intensive that time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I thought we, we, we might kind of finish with a, with a general question for, for, for each of you in turn. Um, what does it mean to you to be, to be from this area? What does this area mean to you? Uh, everything. Yeah, we would. We'd have a hell of a commitment to the area. And I'd like to think at this stage of my life that I'd be able to contribute in it some little bit. And, as I said, go a, a decent living now. But, and, uh, as I said, hopefully, made a bit of a contribution to it. So, I don't know. Effectively, both of us would be involved in the... Community, so yeah, practically involved be. in the community all my life. Mm. Yeah. What well, What is it that makes this area special? The people. The, pe- uh, the people, yeah, and of course, the location. I, yes, yeah. it's, it's, it's it's a nice location, and um, I suppose like one one advantage we have, even though we are near the mountain. But we're only 27 or 8 miles from Kilkenny, the same from Wexford Town and the same from Carla Town. And at this stage we're... It's just 10, 15 minutes in Tennis Gordy, 10 minutes away. Yes. It's, 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 and it's not too far. You might say an hour and a half from Dublin. So we have, we have a good little bit going for us in that sense. A fairly decent road structure to, to Kilkenny in comparison to some places like you know so we have and we have as i said we have a hell of a good community center which is is, is very important in the place naturally enough like you, there's things you like to see improved and the, 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 the other one again is if if there could be a bit of employment got i think that'd be a hell of a boost for it but other than that now, but maybe it's a place to live rather than to work. So I don't think I could add. Do you have anything to add to that, Jess? Yes. No, no. So it's, it's home for the last fifth, almost 50 years for me, and I'm more than happy here, so why would I want to change at this hour of my life? No, no. So. Yeah. I suppose at this stage now, um, <laughs> 
music will be playing a fairly important part in our. Yeah, we have. Uh, we don't have time. There's not nights enough in the week. We're involved yeah. with either social dance and our music sessions. So our own lads tell us that we have a far better social life than they have. Mm. Of course, mm. I said we were there too, where they are now. So we didn't get very yeah. far when we were at their their stage. To have a new one now for our oh, age yeah. group, the recycled teenagers. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we're the recycled so. teenagers. Somebody told us lately. Yeah. So yeah. could be called could be called worse, I suppose. Yeah. But look at <laughs> no, it, such a kind of, like I said about it, those particularly those music sessions. Anyone that's interested in it, it's grand, uh, wholesome entertainment. That's what I'd that's what yeah. I'd say about it now. Do you know there's there's it's it's, it's people um, there to sing an old song or play a bit of music. Yeah, and it's great for the like, sheer love of it. We're not people for going to the pub. Betty would take a pint. I don't, but uh, uh, I never took a drink. Uh, but no. if for someone that's we're not pub people so it, it's it's mm. something else to somewhere else and we're to not, if you like television people either no 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 yeah, I, I'd watch it but it's great that we're well and healthy thank God to be at this hour of our life to, to be able to go and so many not so many not yeah mm. yeah. yeah Elizabeth had a brother, one brother and one sister the brother died two, and, two and a half years two and a half years ago with cancer so in my case now I have, as I said before to you, I have three brothers and two sisters and we all had partners and there's one, only one of the partners, one of my eldest sister's husband died, or died 22, three years ago now. Mm. So he, he was actually a West of Ireland man too, away from Roscommon. The rest of you are all the rest well, are well at, the, at this stage, which is almost unusual for our age bracket. So thanks be to God for that. Yeah, yeah. And so, thanks a million to, um, to both of you folks. Really appreciate your um, your time. Well, I hope, we, you, hope you enjoyed it. Well, well, we hope we made some little bit of a contribution. You certainly did. You yeah. certainly did. Thanks a million, folks. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, you're welcome.